Do you know this frustrating experience when you get excited by the new pair of headphones that you just bought only to find out that they are squeezing the heck of your head and you get so disappointed about that? So this is a story of my life. Therefore, I devoted a comparison video about the best two budget headphones for big heads like me, the Sennheiser HD 206 and the Maono. I pick these two specifically because other pairs always has these negative comments on Amazon about, oh, it's squeezing my head, oh, it does not fit my big head and so on. And with these two, I rarely found such comments. So in this video, I unbox both of them, review them and come with a conclusion, which is my preference. So stay tuned and watch the entire video to find out which headset is best for your big head? There is a box, you know, the Sennheiser HD 206, a bunch of headphones that I heard a lot of good things about it, about the sound, about the comfort for large heads like me. So very simple, straightforward. This is just a converter to, to amplifiers, which I don't need. I just use it with my PC. This is the headphones, very simple. It's adjustable, as you can see. So now let's see how it is on my head. So this is me sitting in front of my PC, working to edit my videos or listening to music. So the headset are very light on my head, which is great. They are quite cozy, even though they are plasticky. So don't expect a premium feel, but that's understandable for the price range. And yeah, the overall feel is great. The sound is good. We'll get to that in a minute. And now let's move on to the other pairs, the Maono. Okay, so we got here the earphones. They are foldable, as I can see. The wire is spiral, okay, I've heard about that. Here's a connector to amplifier, which I don't need. I use it with my PC. You should detach this amplifier head by just pulling off, and then you have a small little connector. Okay, so it's adjustable. Let's see if it's fit well my large head. So this is a Maono pair and they're also comfortable. They feel more premium. The quality of the material seems better also one-sided road from the left side it is not detachable but the overall use of, of this pair is quite decent though it's a bit heavy on the head I started to notice that after a, a while so I have to take some breaks sometimes yeah it happens with a lot of pairs but this one is a bit heavier than the HD 206 so if you take breaks from time to time that's fine so how the two headsets are compared to each other? For big heads, like I have, both are okay. Uh, but I have to say that these are more uh, lightweight. These are a bit heavier, especially because of the uh, spiral wire. The build quality seems like better. This one just seems more professional. The outlook is much more pretty. This seems more cheap, plasticky. You know, regarding the foldable feature, let's see, you can fold it like this, which is nice. And you can carry it in your bag and so on. But the sound of, of these are is very good. This sound is also very good, but it's more bassy a little bit. 
and these are more flat, which is something he wants if you want to edit audio. Another thing is the pads are a bit less cushion here. Here are better, there are circle, here are more ellipse. And with these, they are more comfortable on your ears, especially if you have big ears and you have big head. In my case, yeah, I have big ears and these, while they're officially over the ear, they feel more like on ears and my ears are getting hot when I work with them a lot of time. At the same time, these are more comfortable on the ears because they are round and they are more cushion. The pads are more softy and cozy to your ear. So Now, deciding which one is best, they are both great, but my favorite is the HD 206 because it's just simply lighter on the head. Also, the difference in the price is not that big deal, but these are a bit cheaper with two, three bucks less and yeah i just like them more for a prolonged use these are the best these are the winners because the maono just you feel the heaviness after a while and you need to take a break with these you almost don't need any breaks these have some drawbacks like they feel a bit on the ear and uh, it gets warm a little bit but it doesn't interrupt me so much so this is my winner. At the end of the day, it's an individual preference. So you can try both of them. They are quite cheap and you can find them on Amazon. I will put the link in the de description below. Check them out. And yeah, that's that it. If you're interested in my other stuff on the channel, like self-discovery, know yourself better, find your thing, how you can earn more from your skills and assets you already have, check my videos. Uh, I also unbox the equipment, the budget equipment that I uh, buy along the way to improve my home studio. It's not exactly a studio yet, but it becomes one. So check it out, uh, my unboxing and reviews, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.